Wyoming hand. Twenty. Twenty-one. Oh, better. Wyoming 21. Mule deer hunt? Yeah. Grateful to be here finally, huh? Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> we had our first encounter with a couple of mule deer box. Mm -hmm. We had uh, the last one up in a little cut by the road and I had a hunch that he wasn't by himself and so I made a plan of action and then I screwed up on the bigger box. It's okay, we'll get him next time. That's right. You gotta be humble. You gotta be humble. Y'all, Lindsay and I covered that entire ranch from sunup to sundown for four straight days and never turned up a mature deer. Last day in Wyoming. Yeah. I'm gonna get a big buck today. Hell yeah. We've been fighting heat and dust and colds and ugh. But we're gonna work hard at it. We're all bundled up. The sun's coming up. We're peeking in this canyon where I've seen a couple of smaller bucks. Got our fingers crossed. She and I would have been happy with any deer, but we were really trying to hold out for the right age class. Good things happen when you believe and you're patient. Check this out. In the same spot that I've been looking for five straight days, this new buck shows up and is acting a little weird ruddy around these does. And I'm like, Lens, we gotta go. We gotta go right now. So we trudge down through this creek we just worked our angles as best we could and when we popped up believe it or not we were 130 yards from this buck completely unsuspecting lindsay lays down and the rest is in the history books good shot <laughs> yes oh my heck <laughs> Not bad for your first meal deer buck. Yeah. <laughs> he is awesome. Y'all, this is just proud dad stuff right here. We were getting eaten up by mosquitoes down in that bottom, so we drove the ranger in. We moved this deer. Lindsay put on makeup because that's how it goes with girls. You want to feel pretty and look pretty for photos. So we did all that, and then here's the rest. Linz, congrats on a freaking epic deer. Thank you. Look at these eye guards. Big frame. You smoked him. I'm so proud of you for being patient, Linz, and all your hard work putting up with not seeing very many deer. Thank you. Oh, you know what we should do? Hmm. Take a picture of the two of us. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh my God. This is the most, most beautiful deer I've seen in a long, long time. His frame, his shape, the story behind it, the fact that we worked hard for days and days and days and just couldn't find a mature deer and we waited. Anyway, I'm proud of you. I love you. Thanks. Thanks for hanging out with dad with no cell service. Looking for big old bucks. My favorite thing. Yeah. Thank you to the landowner. We're, uh, we're celebrating 10 years with this particular landowner. Uh, he's let us lease this place, which is a big deal for a California resident. Just for a, a local Wyoming guy to trust in us that we're going to do it right and take the right age class deer and uh, tend to his rules and uh, it's all good. Love you. Love you too. We can do the white one hand trick. <clears throat> 
Thanks. Better than that one with those cows down the bottom. Well, those cows are, there's the cow and calf are wanting to come Step down. Step out on the rocks, yeah. Piss heads to the right. Y'all, what a trip. Lindsay jumped on a plane and then the rest of the crew started to show up. Mike and Keith were ahead of Chase and Melissa. That first night Mike got in, found a big old beautiful bull. Mike slipped in there tight and got it done. The next morning we wake up to a full crew. We start looking over animals and chipping away at tags. Well done, Chase. Good job, Thank you. I'm sure it was that white bone hat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here, Mike. Not the deer. No. Nope. Oh, look at the blade on him. Yeah, we can see the blade. He's cool. We go four horn. Hell yeah. You happy with him? Hell yeah. That's the only way to hunt him, man. I know. Glass him, find him, crawl in and kill him. Look at the rock you shot him from. I just shoot him right through the neck. Yeah, that's I can see mine. Yep, right there. Yeah, that's a good buck, right? All right, if you would please remove your hat, I'd like to close in prayer. Lord, thank you for friends. Thank you for incredible places full of magnificent animals and for hunting. One of life's most rewarding activities that doubles as a way to procure food and to manage animal surplus, all the while funding their very existence. Thank you for giving us a voice a place to share our stories, and for bringing us home to our families. And it's in your name we pray. Amen.